Hey folks, welcome back to ED Outdoors. Hey, today I'm going to be building a, um, a lean-to uh, cover to cover up the uh, walkway uh, leading to my backyard sidewalk there. And that's where my dog, Khaleesi, uh, she sleeps there a lot. I guess because it's closer to the house. But what I want to do is uh, I want to cover it up to where it extends off the roof uh, so that she has better cover from the rain and the elements and whatnot. So that's what we got. All right, all the parts, uh, all the pieces I bought from uh, Lowe's. Got a piece of plyboard that's eight foot long by four foot wide, and I got just the cheapest uh, pl plyboard they had. It was, I think, uh, like eight bucks, but um, it's gonna be covered up later on, so not really too worried about it. Uh, got myself one, two, three, four, five uh, two by fours, and they they are eight foot long. Uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do with those in a minute. And then I got just one eight foot long stud. Uh, if this is going to be just some decorative, uh, a decorative piece. And I got my impact and then my drill to drill pilot holes and then um, impact to drive in the screws. I decided to go with uh, two inch exterior screws. They're number two Phillips heads. Um, nothing fancy, just a, a one pound box. Uh, it should be enough. I already have some, so uh, those are just extra in case I run out. Just don't have to go to the store again. And then my saw, which I already own. I already own this too. Anyway, so the plan is I'm going to build a frame um, from two pieces of these eight foot uh, two by fours. And once I get that frame built, it'll be, um, that, that'll take up two pieces. Uh, the length, cut one and a half, and that'll be the width. So it'll be uh, eight foot long and four foot wide, which is um, the measurement of the plyboard. The reason why I decided to go with that, I want to make it easy. I don't want to have to uh, take the, the uh, plyboard. I don't want to have to take it and um, layer it and, and make two different pieces. I want it all to be one solid piece. So it's only going to be eight foot long. And um, later on, if I decide to extend it out the rest of the way uh, to the backyard, then I can always add onto the end. But once I get that, um frame built using three pieces the um, legs that are going to hold it up um i went ahead i got it eight foot long but i think i'm going to cut cut them uh i want the the walkway the entrance to be about seven foot seven and a half foot so all right you guys first thing you want to do is obviously determine uh where along the house you want to put your uh Base. Your baseboard. Sorry about that. Your baseboard. And um, I have a wooden baseboard running alongside there already. And but the, the plan is just take this eight, eight foot two by four and run it. Worth my camera over. I'm gonna take it and run it um, alongside there where I wanted it. Now there's a window here, and I don't want to cover the window, um, but. Lisa's house is right here and she hangs out right here so I'm gonna, kinda, I'm gonna do it kind of in the middle uh, to where it's not necessarily at the edge of the gate uh, well the, the entrance gate but uh, a little bit past it to where whenever the water runs down it, um, it'll fall off so um, that's first things first I want to drill holes um, I have these four screws uh, they're a little bit longer these are three inch screws uh, these screws are left over from the last project. So what I'm gonna do is uh, take these four screws. I'm gonna run them evenly now the, the two or four. Um, I'm gonna first drill pilot holes with my drill, and that keeps the wood from splitting. If you go ahead and have a hole in, uh, so don't ever drive a screw into a piece of lumber without first drilling pilot holes because it will split. Trust me, I've learned. I learned from personal experience that um, you want to make sure you drill pilot holes. And then I take my impact, which basically an impact, it gives you more, more power, more force. Whenever you're screwing in screws, um, then, then it would, if you just use a drill, and it kind of uh, taps it in as it drills it in. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna take that and get the, the board set up, uh, the, the baseboard set up, and then I'll be back to show you guys that in a second.
All right, you guys, I got the base board set up. Now the next thing is I'm gonna go ahead and cut my uh, my side pieces uh, for the width. And like I said, I'm take this eight foot two by four and measure off four feet because that's half. Uh, once I measure off half, I'm just go ahead and take my saw and cut it down the middle, and then I'll uh, screw the side pieces onto the edges of the uh, baseboard that I got already up. So. Go ahead, mark, go ahead and mark that. And now, when I say baseboard, um, I, I, just, I just say base, like it's my anchor my, my anchor point, and uh, it's already in, and everything else I'm gonna build off of it. So, the house is there, my anchor is screwed to the house, it's stable, it's level, and everything else I'm gonna build off of it. Uh, so that's what I mean when I say anchor board, or baseboard, or whatever, that's what I'm referring to. So, hang tight, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, saw this down the middle, and half and then we'll go ahead and throw it up and i'm going to try to make the video not long and boring and drawn out so um while i'm going to be in in detail about uh all the steps that you need to do i'm not going to show every part um try to cut out as much as i can without ruining the effect of it so go ahead and saw this down all right you guys i got those uh end pieces on got them screwed in to the anchor board or the baseboard there looks pretty good and you see they come out just just beyond the fence which is exactly what I wanted so works out pretty good uh, next thing I'm gonna go in and uh, go ahead and put up the um, I guess it'd be the plywood um, and I'm just gonna screw it into there and to there and to there and I'm not gonna put on the, the end cap yet because I'm gonna screw the legs in to the end cap first and measure those off uh, but next thing you'll see is I'll go ahead and put up the plywood all right you guys I got that roof part put on um, bit of advice I learned um, from experience it's very difficult to get that roof up with one person It'd be great if you had two people um, but I had to brace up one side with some extra wood I had and then screw the other side and what I did was I ran it along top and um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but I just screwed in a couple screws. And um, I'll go back later on, add more screws as I need be. Um, but that's just enough to hold together in order for me to get everything put together. And then I go back and tighten it up with uh, more screws. Um, but now I'm gonna take my uh, outside base. And I'm gonna, I have the legs cut and they are, I trimmed off about a foot so they're about seven foot and it's gonna run on the outside on the outside of the gate and um but i'm gonna take the anchor board and i'm gonna run my legs or screw my legs into it first and then put the whole thing up and i'll tighten everything up so y'all stand by and you'll you'll see what i got after this all right i got that in place now i'm gonna go through up the top of my ladder and then screw down um the top and uh, along the edges there, I don't know if y'all see that, hope you can. Along the edges, throw in my screws to hold that down. After that, that's pretty much going to be done. Um, you know what, now that I look at it, I want to flip this around because I want these boards, sorry about the sun, to be on the inside. I think they'll look better. So I'm about to do that real quick. And after that, um, I'm going to screw them down. And then I'll show y'all kind of the finished product. But hang tight one second. All right, you guys, I am pretty much done. I am very proud of this little project. Um, it's going to get the job done. It's going to extend off. Sorry about the sunlight. It's going to extend off of the roof. It's sort of like an add-on roof. Um, but it's just enough of lean-to shelter to keep my dog from getting hit by the elements. And um, I want to add some... some uh, braces there kind of like that just all right guys that's about it thank y'all for tuning in um it's done and as good as it looks i'm probably going to go back get some more supplies and go ahead and extend it down through the end of the house um just to make it make it match but heck for um cost me 20 uh, 24 25 bucks for the lumber uh the saw and the drill and stuff i already had so i paid six bucks for a box of screws one pound of screws 
and then um like i said about eight bucks for the for the, the uh, plywood and then i went and paid i think these these studs or these boards were 250 each i don't know like i look for the the cheapest material that um from what i needed that they had i think it's pine i don't know i really couldn't tell you but um it it, it looks pretty good like i said about 24 25 bucks uh granted uh they were i went to lowe's and lowe's they were gracious enough to give me um a veteran discount and took off 10 percent uh so I, I thank them for that so that helped out for the uh, price but um uh, i mean for under 30 bucks um i just added on to my roof built a uh, lean to cover and uh i can i can extend this out to the end of the house 60 bucks and i mean did it myself i'm not a, a contractor i'm not a builder i'm a do it yourself or do it yourself -er. but uh um, anyway it looks good i like it i'm proud of it and hopefully the wife likes it